Hello once again dudes, <clears throat> sorry, my name is Mill and I want another JavaScript tutorial. So um, in this tutorial we're gonna see a different way of creating arrays. Alright, so let's create a variable called, uh, not things, that's just very original, um, stuff. And set this equals to new array, nothing new here. Parentheses and, it, and then inside it put the number, uh, you know, of items you want. Let's say we want to have uh, five. Right, so what we'll need to do is saying, uh, sorry, stuff, and then we'll type in the number zero. And I'm going to type, so this equals to sh uh, shit, for instance. I'm going to just uh, go ahead and number one, and that's going to be crap. And I know this is uh, not, maybe not the most nice stuff to call your things. Uh, but I don't care. Then we can call something nice, like coffee. That's always nice. Um. Oh, what the hell was that? Uh, stuff, and uh, then we will type in thing like free, and set this equals to um. Like a, uh, a JavaScript, right? All right. So we, I will just go ahead and. Uh, uh, well, actually, I'll just uh, finish this, but that would be enough examples, actually. So I'm just gonna call this Java and this uh, JScript. Yeah, that's that was easy, right? So, um, right now, let's go ahead and type in document, right? And this is, you know, another way of keeping order on your items. If you, uh, sorry, uh, stuff, and then you type in the number. I'm just gonna type in zero. Uh, for now, so this is another way of keeping order of all of your uh, arrays. So it's going to say shit. Uh, and yet again, we can change this to whatever number we have. And what if we actually? I want to try something out. I just want to show you. If you go ahead and make the sixth one now, and we told it only to have five, and call this uh, Visual Basic uh, Drag and Drop Language, if you ask me. Okay, I guess. Uh, anyways. Set this equals to 6 and uh, let's see what happens. You can see it says we sold basic, but we only told it to make 5. What the hell? So, what if we go ahead and try to just totally delete this piece? Because you might be thinking, well, uh, then we don't need it. And But there is one thing that you need to know. If you go ahead and remove that, it will go ahead and remove some of the order of your things. I w what I would recommend you is to keep it because you might be needing it. But uh, actually, we can go ahead and type in stuff now, and uh, here's where the smart thing comes in. It's not all pops up. What if we type in five and uh, just stuff and refresh it? It still works fine. But anyways, six is is still good to you know keep order order on it in that way. But that is you know just the a little alternative way of creating arrays with JavaScript. Um, so basically, that's it um, for this tutorial, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I uh, hope you learned something else in the next tutorial.